I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I didn't mean it. This is Fluffy, by the way. Say hello to him. He's sorry just as much as I am. I am sitting here in my $3,000 setup, and I didn't mean it. <laughs> Alright, it's 30 seconds past. Okay, I'll turn off YouTube or apology mode. Hi, so I kind of screwed up, and I want to talk about it really quick because I'm taking a break from the internet. So, I post a video once every two days, and I do record a video every two days. I actually record the videos staggered, so it's like every day that I haven't uploaded is the day that I have filmed the video. And actually, usually I have like two or three videos lined up after the one that I've already recorded for that day, just in case I get sick or something, so I can't actually upload that day. But the point is, I record a lot of videos, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm tired. I am very, 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 very tired because I do a lot of stuff outside of just filming the videos. You gotta understand, I don't have a team. You're looking at the team. It's all me. I record, I edit, I upload, I manage all the comments, I do all the streams, I manage all the streams. I manage all the YouTube statistics, and also on top of all that, I also do chores and stuff around the house, I have school to do now, which is even more stuff to do, and before I review a blaster, I have to put it through a lengthy testing procedure that usually takes several hours on end. And I am actually in the process of testing this one, because I do want to record the Kronos video, because this blaster is, oh man, it's pretty popular, but that's a video for another day. The point being is that I record a lot of videos and I do a lot of stuff all the time and I can't sleep. I usually am up until 4 o'clock in the morning every single night and that usually results in me sleeping until noon which thank you to my gracious mother for allowing me to sleep that late because otherwise I don't know how I would survive but it is still very late, unreasonably late, and I have to rush to get everything done throughout the whole day, and then later on, I'm just exhausted, and I'm stressed out from real life stuff, and from YouTube stuff, and just all of it, all the time. I have been terminally online for almost a year. Almost a full year. In fact, it might actually be more than a year now, because I, may, I kind of started being terminally online as soon as my channel started completely taking off. Like, as soon as I started getting close to 100 subscribers, that's when I started, like, spending all of my time online. From the moment that I wake up every morning to the moment that I go to bed at night, I have this stupid magic rectangle on my hand all the time. And suppose I don't have the magic rectangle, it's because I am sitting right here doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Looking at YouTube videos, or recording things for streams, gameplay footage, or whatever else for my other channels. And yeah, I do have two other channels. I've got Oblivious Crappy Computer, which is now Tessera's Gaming Room, and I've got Creeper Squad, which is now Tessera Vlogs. Both of them will be linked in the description below. This is a shameless plug and I'm not afraid to admit it. But the thing is, not only am I tired, I'm autistic, and I'm not afraid to admit that either. I have always been autistic, it's just who I am. It doesn't really change anything, I'm happy with who I am. But it does create some changes, such as the fact that my brain is really, really slow. Like, hilariously slow. Like, to the point where you will ask me a question, and it will take me several seconds. Like. 20 to 30 seconds before I even understand what you just said and can provide an answer to you. My brain only really works at full capacity when I'm completely relaxed, hence why I usually do the streams with phase one foam late at night. And speaking of which, that's kind of where I made a big mistake. I was on a live stream with phase one foam the other day and I said something incredibly stupid. So a lot of y'all have noticed that there is this product that Nerf is making called the Strife X. It's kind of a big deal. I have refrained from talking about it for a few reasons, which I will get into in a different video further on down the line, but it doesn't matter. FaZe and I were talking about the Strife X. We were talking about like, oh, what is it? What are people's receptions on it? And I, I, I kind of got a little bit heated. To summarize it, there's like this big group of people who absolutely despise the Strife X just because 
it takes away the ability to mod because you won't want to mod anymore because the strife x is too perfect and to that i say if your blasters modifications only come down to performance and nerfs stock strife x is better than all of your mods just because it has better performance what in the hell are you doing do something else but that's besides the point i was already mad at that point and then we brought up lipo batteries and i basically said something incredibly stupid when referring to lipo batteries and if you don't know what a lipo battery is it is basically a tiny little nugget a rechargeable battery pack that when used in a nerf blaster you either do it right or you blow up they are a very serious topic and one that i don't take lightly and i was already mad and i ended up kind of saying my opinion not the way that actually i stand by with in fact i looked back at the footage and i literally rolled my eyes into the back of my head because i don't even understand or support the thing that i said in that video to try and make my opinion clear basically i was saying that the lipo batteries that are being used in nerf blasters have a risk of blowing up if used incorrectly which is something that is labeled on every single lipo battery it says improper use of this product may result in hazardous explosion or something along those lines and basically what i said in the video was that i feel like it would be better if the manufacturer put safety precautions in place on the batteries rather than leaving it up to the consumer to do that instead and honestly, I don't think that is the end of the world to ask for. All I want is for people to not get hurt. And I feel like the easiest way to do that is by just putting a single microscopic board, not really microscopic, but a single small circuit board between the positive and, and negative battery terminals on the LiPo batteries that limits how much power can be put in or taken out of a battery, thus removing the entire variable of explosion. But because I was really mad and I was really tired at the same time, I basically said something along the lines of people don't need to be personally responsible for their own products, and that should be left up to the people in charge of the, the, uh, of the original battery. Yeah, that's stupid. And no, I do not stand by that whatsoever. I do think that personal responsibility is a big part of the nerfing community and nerf modding altogether. You should be responsible with the things that you own, even if it's just a toy blaster. It's still yours. You are still responsible for it. And it essentially gets a lot more serious when you bring lipos into the mix. I mainly feel bad for FaZe because he told me that he got a lot of emails from fans basically just complaining about me and calling me a freaking idiot, which, yeah, I am. Might as well just say it. But honestly, I think it pretty much just comes down to the fact that I am too tired of being terminally online and worrying about everything all the time doing everything myself on this channel managing all of the videos all of the all of the community posts all the comments everything i have to do all of that myself it is draining on top of all the extra work that i have to do every day and i just need a break i will probably be gone for about a month same as i did with the uh right after the aeon pro video before i made the siege 50 video i took a break for a little under a month i think at some point in the future, I want to make a full video talking about LiPo batteries and how to use them properly, but I just haven't had time or the resources to go about doing that right now, nor the experience, because I only have one LiPo battery in my possession right now. I'm planning on getting another one for a build that I'm in the works making right now. Until that happens, I'm not going to be able to make that video. But I just wanted to put this out there really quick and clarify that LiPo batteries are very dangerous and I legitimately just don't want to see anybody else getting hurt because I have seen how catastrophic lipo battery explosions can be and I have seen the amount of people that they hurt and also if you guys are curious about whether or not I realize this yes I did the lipo batteries that are used in nerf blasters are originally designed for RC cars and RC planes and stuff like that which have the safety precautions that I was talking about built in Though I do think that it would be very nice if a company would start making dedicated lipos for nerf blasters 
with those safety boards built into the batteries just so that like the probability of people getting hurt would essentially drop to zero unless they were still continuing to use those older batteries. But yeah, I'm taking a break from the internet. I'll probably still stream every now and then just because streaming is very fun and if I don't stream or record a video every once in a while I kind of go crazy because I don't have anybody to talk to. So yeah, I expect to see a stream every now and then, but no real uploads for a while. I just need some time off. With that said, yeah, I don't feel like putting an outro in. Thanks for watching, everyone.